Augmented reality, could it be the next major trend? Here to speak about how the technology is developing is Jeffrey Boodyman and Michael Boody from r &Co, member of WIR Group, Southeast Asia's largest augmented reality and innovation technology company. Well, Michael, maybe I can start with you. So augmented reality, what exactly is this? So augmented reality is basically a technology solution that can combine both worlds between the virtual world and the real world where the user can experience it in the real time. Uh, the word of augmented means adding, actually. Many people call it mixed reality. But the platform of the hardware itself can be very various. It can be start from your mobile device, can be using the last uh, giant screen, or in the few next coming future is the augmented reality glasses. So what have you used this for? What sort of projects have you been working on? The use can be uh, very various. Uh, it uh, involves a lot of industries, such as the education industries. We are currently doing augmented reality books for kids in Barcelona, Spain. So what the kids can do is basically they can download the apps for free and they're using their mobile apps, they point the device into the books and suddenly the 3D of the animation is coming alive. They can see the walking dinosaur on the books. So it'd be very interesting and very fun to, to learn. Another industry, it covers also the entertainment. Uh, currently, we are also developing the uh, theme park in Thailand, Pattaya. This theme park has very famous characters, cartoon characters. So the kids can um, basically go inside the theme park and meet see and play with the virtual characters and they can talk with them. It's a very interactive way. Another sector that they can be involved uh, including medical and also of course the IT industry. Well, what's the benefits of this? Why does it appeal to people? Number one benefit I think is uh, we are talking about timing and place. Uh, this technology can be uh, experienced anytime and anywhere. And the second one is the content itself. It's unlimited content and imagination. So uh, the user uh, basically can make their dreams becoming true. Well, Jeffrey, over to you now. And how can augmented reality reinforce branding and increase marketability? With augmented reality, you can create a new level of interactivities because we actually combine both the future worlds and the real worlds. By doing that, brand owners can actually put more stuff by interacting directly with the people in real time. So by doing that, it will engage in a more personal level and then at the same time, they can do like direct to actions. They can ask the user to maybe in this case play the game and then they ask them to go to their websites, which is in the end of the day, it will increase their traffic. And at the same time, they can ask, uh, you need to buy another of their products, let's say. It will increase sales, of course. And then it will also increase traffic to their websites, to their social media and stuff. At the same time, with direct to action, you can also collect data from them, like increasing their database, what do they like, what do they don't, they don't like. And then from there, they can use the data to actually analyze for future sales analysis, market analysis. Well, how quickly is this augmented technology developing and what is possible now? At the moment, especially with the uprising of the, uh, the wearable technology, this augmented reality is really increasing pretty significantly in the last few years. So you can say that more augmented reality glasses out there is not only the Google Glass, if you go just go to the internet and search it, there are a few others, and then more developers are actually going into it. They are trying to create new platforms so, so that everywhere you go, you can see new content, you can take a look around. It's, it's similar to like Google Maps or something, you can just know your directions and just implement it directly into the real world that you live in. So how big a role do you think augmented reality will play in the future? I'm sure it will become part of our lifestyle because, as you know, we're slowly going into an era where we cannot really differentiate where it's virtual and where it's real anymore because everything is combined, right? As you know, now nowadays people like can't live without their smartphones, their tablets. It shows that, that people have adapted so much and try to basically implement this new lifestyle into their life. Even like a two-year-old kids and now using tablets and smartphones and stuff. So you can see in the future, I'm sure, augmented reality, especially with the current advancement of the technology, it will be very, very, uh, play a significant role because it will become part of us, especially with the display system that are currently developing. You can say augmented reality, it will become like the main content system, should I say, for the future, because especially it can be implemented across, across industries. So people are more connected through augmented reality. They don't need to use any other device anymore. You can just use like one, maybe like a glasses or something and just walk around and get connected with others. 
Well, finally, your company is known as a pioneer of augmented reality in Indonesia. So what are you working on now and what are your ambitions for the future? We are working on a lot of things at the moment. We actually have our own R&D department that actually stretches the capabilities of the technology. We uh, have combined it with 4D effects, like people can get actual experience, not only just seeing on the screen, they can even like get wet or something, you know. And then we have connected it with like e-cash payments and many other things. Like Michael said before, this technology has a lot of possibilities. Usually what we are doing with our clients is even like, even if they don't really know what they can do with this technology, we can just sit down with them and try to find the best solutions based on their set of objectives. In the future, we have the ambitions that we at AR Co. and we want to be part of the one that shapes the future lifestyle of humans. So um, by doing that, we actually create a legacy through the technology. Jeffrey, Michael, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.